Hello and welcome to a truly inspirational episode of the Fully Charged Show, coming to you from Utrecht in the Netherlands. And I just want to point out, we're right next to a busy rail line and also Utrecht has won the Fully Charged Show 2021 Cities Prize, which is one of the reasons we've come here to see it, because what they're doing here is amazing. I mean, behind me here is a new dense urban housing development that uses no gas, that uses ground source heating, that uses solar to power the houses, that exports energy into the gr local grid. And beneath me here is a multi-storey car park for shared cars that are powered by solar. This is basically what we're doing is visiting a, a city that is 10 years into the future. So that is Utrecht and this is the Fully Charged Show. Fully Charged Live is back and bigger than ever. Get your tickets now to the world's number one electric vehicle and clean energy live show. Featuring all manner of electric vehicles, tons of test drives, live theater sessions, interactive home energy experiences, and so much more. See you there. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us today. So can you tell me about the idea behind the development? Thank you. Uh, so we are standing here at a formal uh, railway uh, area. Uh, the train is just next to uh, this, uh, this project. We are keeping the old buildings, so uh, we are renovating them and transforming them in other, uh, other for other functions. And the houses are uh, developed with the city plot concept, and that means that every three, four or sometimes two houses are developed by uh, or designed by an architect and the next one is by designed by another architect. Uh, right, so, so they're not all the same, they're yeah, a different we have, variety. We have a lot of diversity in, uh, in this project. Right, Yeah. but then they look, I mean I know that on the roofs there's a lot of solar, but have you just go through the things, the basic things, how are the, how are the houses heated? Uh, is that stuff the same in all the houses or is there yeah, different? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, all the, uh, the facades are different. Right. Uh, that's what you see uh, at the outside. The energy concept is the same and uh, all houses have uh, solar panels right. and uh, floor heating. And we have just one uh, constructor who, who, who is building it. But, right. So really hard uh, for the constructor because yeah, every house is uh, it's different. different. So, and the windows are different, the doors are different, yeah. the design is different. Yeah. yeah. But then, it, so is the, um, I'm intrigued to know what the heating system is. So we have solar panels um, and we have uh, tubes in the ground. Yeah. Uh, so every uh, block of uh, houses has uh, tubes connected with each other and uh, they have a heat pump in, uh, in their home uh, right. and floor heating. The, I think the thing for me in the UK that I really want to underline for people who live in the UK is there's no gas. <laughs> there's no gas boilers. You don't need gas boilers to heat your home. And you've shown this on a big scale, not just on one house, but yeah. on lots of houses, which is fantastic. No, yeah, really we do too. it in in, uh, in all our new projects yeah. now. So uh, yeah, it's uh, f for us, it's, it's normal. Right. Uh, people live there now and they use their heat pumps. Yeah. So, so yeah. they know. Right, oh, so is the heating system like a, a centralized system for the whole all the houses uh, per block so we per have block, four right. blocks of houses and uh, per block it's organized uh, um, in the ground because right. uh, in in Utrecht we have uh, restrictions we can't uh, go further in the ground than 50 meters You're, I know the water table is quite high yeah. isn't it so you, you presume have to cope with that yeah so it? that's why you can go further than 50 meters and oh, that right. means that you have to make more tubes in the ground to, right. uh, yeah, to heat the but home. But it is, it is ground source heating that is heating yeah. the building. Oh, yeah. that's fantastic. So at the moment, how many houses are you building right now? How many will, are in this development? Yeah, this, these are just uh, 122 houses. So right. uh, I think around 28 are uh, uh, really uh, are finished now. Finished now. Right. Uh, and the rest is, uh, is going to be built till uh, April. So how many, when it's finished then, how many are the total number of houses that you're doing? Uh, around uh, 1,200. And yeah. then the other thing is that I can see from these houses where there's nowhere to park a car. <laughs> no, you, uh, from this spot you can't see any, uh, any car. Yeah. Uh, that's also part of the, the concept of, uh, of, this, uh, of this place. So behind you, you see, uh, you see a building um, and all cars are parked in that building. Right. Uh, so yeah, we try to make 
make this area uh, without cars so people can uh, play on the street yeah. and cars are not visible on the street. We're, we're next to streets, traditional streets, which have got cars yeah. parked in them. But here immediately, and it can't really tell you because it's not fini fully finished, but it's going to be a very different environment, particularly for children. I mean, it's, you know. Yeah, and more space for green and, yeah. uh, and trees. Yeah. yeah. Now, so if you live here, you can have a car, but you'll park it in the car park there. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and people can just have one car or no car. So right. there, are, there are going to be built uh, 122 houses here, yeah. uh, and there are just uh, 78 spots for, for cars parking, for so the right. for the residents. So you can have one or none. Is the is the yeah. thing? Yeah. So right. if uh, the, the people who bought a house here, they they, but they were know that aware when they buy the house. Yeah. 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 And there are, there are really more restrictions uh, in the it, new oh area, right. so uh, less cars and. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can you just say for me, heat pumps work? <laughs> heat pumps work. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We Drive Solar are a company who offer a sustainable EV car sharing service in the Netherlands. The idea being that eventually people get rid of their private cars and use car sharing vehicles when they need to drive. As well as being genuinely powered by solar energy and available all over the city, We Drive Solar also offer plans specifically for residents of new builds. So it's even easier for the residents of Wisselspoor, where we are today, not to own a vehicle at all, but still be able to drive a car when they need to. So Robin, I love this setup. Just as soon as I walked in here, I went, oh, that, this works. Car sharing. And you sort of think, oh, well, they're all going to be as, you know, a load of Renault Zoe's or a load of Nissan Leafs. And they're all different cars. I mean, you've got a choice when you when you drive with you. So tell me something about how We Drive Solar started and what you're, where you're going now. Yeah, we really started um, as an offering for people who want to get rid of their car. That can be their first car or their second car, really depending on the location and situation they're in. So we started with the Renault Zoe, which is a very convenient uh, car. Um, and especially the new one has a, a, quite a good range. Yeah. So when we broadened our offering, we've now the first one we added was the, the Model 3 by Tesla. And right now we are starting to add the Ionic 5. Yeah. This, is, this is really the alternative for uh, car ownership. I think it's important to point because where we are at the moment is in a garage with these dedicated spaces for these cars. Yeah. But I've seen them all, you know, when I was cycling around yesterday, everywhere I looked there was a WeDrive solar car. We want to be very close to our customers. So yeah. the, we, we place the cars right in the neighborhoods, right in the garages where the people live. Um, so it's, it's more convenient to use our car than to look for a parking spot and, uh, and, and park your own car. Yeah. And that's also why we use reserved parking spaces. Yeah. So when you come back, you don't have to look don't for have to worry a charging station yeah. or a parking space. It's just there waiting for yeah. you. Our system is really uh, built in a way that that's also convenient and also uh, affordable. Um, so and then people really start to understand. Okay, this is uh, perfect. I can yeah. get rid of my car. Yeah, because that must be. A, I mean, I can't imagine it at the moment, but it must be a really liberating thing to go. I don't have to worry about my car, the safety tests, the insurance, the maintenance, the all that stuff. You just don't have a car. But then you want to have a car when you go on holiday or do something like that, and you, you've got one. It's, it's, it's so obvious. You can see now when people say bye to their car and step over to services like these, um, the number of miles driven per car, or per household in a car, goes down. Right. There's a strange motivation that you will have to use the car because otherwise it's, 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 it's a waste it's of time. Waste. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Basically around 90% of our clients get rid of at least one car. Wow. So wow. that's a very high percentage. Yeah. So, yeah. And, that's, um, and that's for us a very motivating uh, thing that it actually works. Yeah. Um, and that we should proceed and, and scale up and right. roll out and differentiate. Um, because this is, there's a huge potential. And, and it's a bit like the way Tesla approached uh, the electric car. So they said the, the electric car has to be better than the cars yes. already on the road. And we are saying our offering has to be better than owning a car. And then in this specific instance, we're, we're next to this big housing development here, where clearly the way it's being built now with new buildings, you know, in the Netherlands, it's not being built with cars in mind. It's, there's no space at the house where you can park a car. 
So the people who live there will park, if they own cars, they'll park them in here. In this, this is a multi-story car park, but then if they don't own cars, do they get a special deal with these cars because they bought the houses here? Yeah, we worked very closely together with the project developer Synchron in this project um, to really already at the forefront, so before the houses are uh, going to the market, already have the whole concept uh, in place. So in the brochure about the house people were going to buy, there was already mentioned that with, with the house you get mobility. Right. So you don't need to bring your car. And because there is a low parking nor uh, norm, which, which means that most houses will have one or zero cars, uh, parking spaces, um, people have to have comfort that they can use a car um, while living here yeah. uh, when they don't have a place to park one. Because car sharing for most people is out of scope. Yeah. It's, it's new, they don't know what it is, yeah. and so, so it's not for me. That's what most people think. Yeah. And with this, it, the car sharing is included into their new house they are going to live in. Yeah. And it's for free and it's a nice car, so okay, I will give it a try. Yeah. And then they will try and start and see, oh, this is really comfortable and it grows and adapts to the, the, the way people are using it. So there's always a car, there's always availability, there's different types. Um, and then they will have an extra subscription and start using it. And then already at the forefront or at the end, they will get rid of their car. So, Ninka, thank you for talking to us today. So, just let me get this right. You live very near here. Yep. There's these charges on the, on, in this parking area mm -hmm. here. Cut, there's a lot of car sharing cars there. So, you use that system now. Is that a, I an, do. Is that a yep. regular thing for your family? And yeah, I've been using it since, uh, I think, four years. Right. Uh, almost. So that, for me, it's, it's perfect. This. Right. Yeah. And you're not having to worry about where you park it or having it fixed up or it's, fueling uh, it? It's very easy, especially for parking, because it's quite difficult to park uh, in Utrecht. Yes. So there's always a car around, which right. is very easy. You're in your circle of friends here, are, they, are there people there who go, why are you crazy? Why don't you own a car? Or do they think it's, this is cool? I mean, it, what, how has Most that been Most people reacted? think it's really cool. Right. So right. Uh, they start thinking about it uh, themselves. Yeah. So yeah, it works perfect. Everyone we met in Utrecht was really lovely and, and, and they all seemed really positive about the new systems being introduced. Our visit to the city was genuinely inspirational and what they're doing with their transportation and their housing is, you know, it's just incredible. I can only hope that what is being developed and implemented in Utrecht is rapidly picked up by other cities around the world. But that's all for this particular episode. Do, please do spread the word about our shows. Tell your friends, tell your family, and please subscribe. It only takes two seconds and it costs you nothing and it really does help us. And all the links about the projects we saw in Utrecht are in the show notes beneath this video, as are links to our Patreon supporters page. And as always, if you have been, thank you for watching. Well, if you enjoyed that and you're interested in home energy, this video is right up your street. This is our latest episode just come out. Up here you can subscribe to Fully Charged. It costs you nothing and it really helps us and up there is a link to our Patreon page where we get amazing support. Again, just have a look at it.